She didn't touch that girl. She was ready. She didn't touch that girl. Okay, go educate yourself and then scream whatever you want to scream. Loads of Christians make very basic mistakes in defending the Christian faith because apologetics and polemics are not being taught in the fellowship. Muhammad, you are Muhammad Zahaywa. You are Muhammad Zahaywa. You are Muhammad Zahaywa. Until Christians take their faith seriously, no one else will. Let's hug together. Come on. If you want to know the love of Jesus, let's hug together. Come on. Why did you insult him? Why are you insulting him? Have you seen him in your dreams? It takes all me. Don't insult the Prophet. Who are you here to tell me what to do? Who are you? 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 Shut up and move away. Oh, Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Hey, Steve Hammond. Steve Hammond. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. That's <laughs> You're Muhammad was a big shaitan. You're Muhammad was a big shaitan. You're Muhammad was a big shaitan. I will be questioned about one moment. Look here. Shaitan. You're the Holy Ghost today. We're not going to help you. Yes, Holy Ghost here to unmask the satanic religion of Islam. Where is he in a tree now? One moment, one moment. Your Quran speak about the we. Who is we? Who is we in the Quran? One Allah, so call Allah speak away. Who is we? Who is we? Let's go first. Are you sure of it here? Can you have your book? Can you have your book? You don't want to Don't yell. Okay, when are you talking to me? 1422. We're not sure of here. One moment. One moment. 1422. See. You don't know him. You know him? Okay. Can you please? One more time, I'm going to leave, okay? Okay. Please, can you read Don't yell. Yeah, okay. Show me in Arabic. I have your Arabic too, ah, relax. That's Arabic, that's Arabic. See, yeah, yeah, see, I, well, I know the Arabic alphabet, wait. Okay. Okay, can you read this up? No, no, I, I, I hold, so, I'm sorry. Shall I make bigger for you? I can. Yes. Ah, that's Arabic, that's Arabic. Can I see the website? But that could be that's also. That's a sunnah.com. Oh. Hey, look, look. See, because it's haram. Kudur of Allah. Yeah, subhanallah. Kudur of Allah. Okay, okay. Is that 1422? Uh, I mean, that's the destiny. That's the destiny. Okay. Yeah, that's the destiny. That is, that is, yeah, this one. Your Muhammad was a shaitan. What is it? Subhanallah. Okay, okay, sorry. Can you, can you please shut up? I am, I am talking. You can have him. I want to. Excuse me, don't record me, hello? Ma'am, it's a speaker's corner. No, you can have him full. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Shaitan. Oh, he's gone again. See? She's the quarter of Allah. What is this? He's so busy. I'm showing. I show from Sahih Muslim. And sh no, 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 stay here. No, no, stay here. No, no, stay here. What are you showing? I was showing uh, from Sahih Muslim 1422. See, yeah. she wants to see. No, she doesn't. She thinks. She thinks that's uh, it's not good. Okay. I went to the Sahimos Sunnah that come. Yeah. And it's right here. What does it say? You don't. It says. Hey, well done. Aoudou Billah. Aoudou Billah. Yeah, your mama was a big shaitan. Is it? Mama was a big shaitan. Last and final prophet of Allah. Big shaitan. Yeah.
Are you going to say that? Big shaitan. Big shaitan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge between us on the day of Yom Qiyamah, inshaAllah. Alhamdulillah, he will. On the day of Yom Qiyamah, you'll fall and find out. On the day of judgment, you're going to find out. Okay. Talk about Abba Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You're going to find out on the day of Yom Qiyamah. One day, you're going to die and you're going to leave this world. Keep your hand by yourself. One day, you're going to die and you're going to leave this world. Keep your hand by yourself. Do you know what? Do not nah, disrespect somebody that's here. It says, not shut here to up, I am listening. La ilaha illallah. Don't tell me to shut up. Look, now you're being physical with me. Look, okay. Look, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Good, thank you. Thank you for saying sorry. Okay, look. Thank you for saying Say sorry. Say that. Bro, don't, so, don't Sahih Muslim. Somebody. Sahih Muslim. 14, 20 to 6. Okay. It says. You have misinformation. Well, Aisha. Please do not can you, speak about somebody. Sh can you wait? Can you wait? Can One you day, wait? You will die and you will can leave you this wait? earth. And then you will be can raised you wait? on the day of judgment. Brainwash Muslim. Can you wait? Brainwash. You brainwash. You speak bad about the Prophet Muhammad. Brainwash. You're not going to speak when I'm here. You're not going to speak when I'm here. You're not going to Aisha, Aisha, Allah be pleased with her. Report it. That Allah's apostle. It means Satan's apostle. Married her when she was seven years old. And he was taken to his house. She was actually she was taken to his house as a bride when she was nine. There's difference of opinion. And her those. Where with her? And when the holy prophet, the unholy prophet, dies, dies, and blessings be upon him. Peace be upon him. Peace. Oh, subhanallah. Look at it. And when? Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. You know what? If you don't like move, if you don't like move, yeah, 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 bro. That's what I'm saying. We don't get under our skin. Up. You understand? And, and, and when, when, when died, when Muhammad died, died she was 18 years old. Sahih Muslim. To talk. Speak about yourself. See, if you believe that you are upon the truth, promote that truth. Me. Don't speak okay. about somebody who is not here to defend themselves. Do you want to if talk? You are believe, Do you want to talk? If I want to speak about your religion, you want you want to talk? Talk? don't speak about my religion. Why not? Because if you believe Why that you are upon the truth, you should tell I am here to expose your satanic religion. I am here to expose your satanic religion. Why, why, why? Satanic religion? Because. Why are you speaking to me about your religion? Because. Let me ask you. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you. Yes, I became. Yes, I became. Yes. Yes. Do you believe a man was God? Yes. Do you mean a man was God? You do you believe a man? No, 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 man is God. One, one. Do you believe a man who can walks on this earth is God? Answer. No, because the speaker's corner, I can speak as I wish. Do I you want speak. the answer or not? I can speak for 20 minutes. Do you want and you, No, I don't listen. hear you speak. I don't hear you speak. Listen, I don't listen. hear you speak. You don't want that? No. So you want to ask questions? No. I am not your nothing, demon. Nothing. No. I'm not your <laughs> demon. <laughs> I am not your demon. I am not your demon. Has anybody got a... I am not your demon. Has anybody got a... I am here. Anybody got a mint? To expose this satanic religion. I am here. To expose this. I am here. I am here to say to you, Jesus Christ, your Muhammad was a worse than a donkey. When Muhammad was, what was the name of Satan? What was the name of Satan? Muhammad Rasulullah. What was the name of Satan? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What was the name of Satan? Father, ya donkey. What was the name of Satan? Father. Satan. Father, you. Satan. Father, you. Muhammad. Muhammad. Your Muhammad is a high one. Your Muhammad. Was a high one. Why are you door Mohammed Zahir? Yahmar. No, are you Abulahab? No, listen. Why are you Ibn Salvi? Your Mohammed was worse than a donkey. Malun Abu Yahud Kulah. When Mohammed was in the cave, when Mohammed was, what is the name of Satan? What is the name of Satan? Allah. What is the name of Satan? Wazar. Your father, ya donkey. What is the name of Satan? Your father. What is the name of Satan? Your father. Allah. Your father, ya Hamar. Satan. Abu Kia bin Al Kalb. Muhammad the Messenger. Father, ya donkey. I challenge you. Liar. Come to this moment. Liar. And you, ya Hamar. Your Muhammad was a worse than a donkey. Your Muhammad was a worse than a donkey. Muhammad was a donkey worse than a donkey. You want to talk? Okay. Make sure you say that. Liar. Liar. Make sure you say that. You Make sure you shut up. You don't want to rob it. The ring's open. You don't want to rob it. Okay. Let's go boxing gym. You want to go ring? Don't talk with your satanic about your satanic religion. So. Mister, run to the house. Muslim says to me. 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 Muslim
You're insulting. Ah, okay. I say to you, yes. what I say, yes. what I say, Muhammad married with six, seven year old child, had a sex with nine year old child. Am I lying? No. I bring your history, I bring your hadiths, I bring your tafsirs, I bring your Quran. To expose, no arguments. Hey, Kryptonite, what's that story of Mohammed ordering order the killing of a fellow Muslim because he was he was feeling jealous about that Muslim guy because he was being too pious? You know that story? Uh, no, no, yeah, yeah. I think it's in Sakhi Muslim or Sakhi Bukhari. Where basically the, the, prophet, the prophet of Islam sent someone to kill a fellow Muslim because he was being too pious. So he, he, was he, 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 he was praying too much. Too much. He was praying too much. I heard about about this idea. I heard about this idea that, that uh, I don't know at, uh, at my, uh, my uh, I, I don't have any in, in here this one. Ma'am, you are a Muslim? Okay. May I ask a question? Yes. Don't be taking people away, bro. Hey, May I ask a question now? Oh, you don't want to cover. Oh, want to cover. Okay, he can, he can just stand there. He can, he can, he can stand there, and you will not your face not so You won't stop. You know, people become Muslim because of you. Because, because, because of you. Because people become people become Muhammad was. Muhammad was a big shaitan. Shaitan was in You can't win. Muhammad, you are brainwashed to come to Islam. You say I'm brainwashed? Yes. Because I'm Muslim. You brainwashed. May I die in the state of being brainwashed? If I die as a Muslim, you want if to I send, die as a Muslim, you want to send it to the wives. If I be, you want to send it to the wives. If I'm raised in the day of judgment, do you want to send it to two wives? Where, where did you get that from? Do you? Where you, you, you get that from? You don't know. Where did you get that from? Muhammad said. Oh, is it? Muhammad said send two wives. Two of them are hurious or virgins, and sending two of them to wives from the hell. Now it's eighteen plus. Is that your God? Is that your God? They will have a pleasant. Was your God a baby? Pleasant. Was your God a baby? Other translation says a pleasant for Jah. I am sorry for my language. And the man will have eternally erected pride of mind. Is that true, Uncle? Go, yeah, donkey, yeah, I went. Go, yeah, donkey. Why you touch you? Why you touch you? Why you touch you? Take the money. 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 Because, wait, I don't want, he said become Muslim. I don't want to become a pedophile. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to become a pedophile. He said come Muslim. I don't want to become a pedophile. I don't want to become a pedophile, I don't want to become a pedophile like Muhammad. Speak English. Speak in English. Speak English. Speak in English. Speak English. Speak English. Speak English. Go. Go. He didn't touch that girl. Go. Until she was ready. She's no, no, she didn't touch that girl. Aisha. Nine years. Okay, go educate yourself and then scream whatever you want to scream. I don't want to hear. It's nine year old. If you have a daughter, nine year old. Okay, he didn't touch that girl. Go educate yourself. Go educate yourself. Sisters from Islam speaking to him about how he's wrong. Sisters from Islam. Run, 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 run away. Go, ya rabbi. Shall I take your friend and be like, are you crying? Look. Go, ya rabbi. Donkey, 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 Yes. Horse in his private part. Yes. In the private part of nine-year-old child. Yes. Who was playing with the dolls? Liar, you donkey. Aisha. Is the Muhammad example for you? Liar, you Would you follow his example? Liar, you If you gonna follow the example of Muhammad, liar. You gonna become a pedophile. You're I am here to tell you. Okay. 
Don't become a pedophile. That's right. Come to Christ. Let Christ set you free. What happened here? From this satanic What happened here? Don't Jesus set me free. That's right. From this satanic religion. That's right. Jesus set me free. From this satanic religion. Blackstone is a shit. Blackstone is a shit. Blackstone is a shit. Blackstone who will have eyes and tongue. That is a shit. Would you follow a man? Would you follow a man who had a sex for nine year old child? Blackstone is a shit. Would you have a sex with nine year old child? Would you put your private part in the private part of nine year old child? Blackstone, would you do that? Would you do that? Would you do that? Blackstone is going to have eyes and Blackstone is going to have eyes and tongue. So what are we going to do about it? All of you are not going to do what? Right, okay, but I'm, I'm like you, I say within the Catholic Church, which is what has been identified in the Nicene Creed, we're all one apostolic Catholic Church. I accept every Christian believer within the fold who holds to Orthodox Trinitarian beliefs. Me too. That's it. Ditto. Um, what I've noticed in the past is that 80% of the Christians here have no ammo to answer some of the most basic questions yeah. and, it, and it really upsets me when people say there's a, there's a sequence of about six or seven questions that always crop up Bob. and they would be just I won't hold you up your time because I know you're off you know I ascend to the father yeah. and your father my God yeah. your God yeah. the father's yeah. greater than I there's about five or six of them yeah. and Jesus. most Christians don't seem they're wobbling they make and yeah. they, 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 they basic do, errors yeah and, and also they stampede into making preposterous and stupid yeah. trying to fill the holes yeah. 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 now totally. what I've got down here I'll give you one copy is the fact that in, until you address the true God true man the, um, the humanity and the deity of Jesus Christ yeah. once you can get that out on the plate yeah. and you can back that up with the earliest church fathers who understood it from the earliest times yeah. then you can all of those fall into the cap Jesus is speaking from his human nature yeah. because he took human nature from his mother Virgin Mary yeah. and he took his uh, deity from his father God who yeah. lives in him yeah. so if you just have a read of those I think between us Christians we should get a little leaflet for Christians who visit the park with answers to the questions you're going to be asked. And just yeah, give it to that's them. a good just idea. That is a good idea. And, and the, fa the fact of the matter is loads of Christians make very basic mistakes in defending the Christian faith yes. because apologetics and polemics are not being taught in the fellowships. Yeah, like, that's true. That's apologetics true. and polemics need to be a regular part of the rhythm yeah. of Christian life. For sure. For sure. And, and until we develop that culture that has apologetics and polemics sure. at the very core of it should be I go to a Bible study and in the process of my discipleship I'm learning how to defend yeah. I'm, I'm learning, learning how here. to Funny enough, I, I came from that camp up until I started to read the church fathers and the early church pre-Nicene early church fathers for me have the key to the whole of this this the, the debates that we have because someone said if you can't articulate what you believe in how do you know you believe in it and yeah. most christians fall into that camp yeah, yeah, yeah. i believe in the trinity okay tell me about the trinity you know you know what it is colin it's because christian fellowships don't value it enough true, the early true, church true. fathers valued rhetoric the early church fathers valued argument because it was like the, the the cultural currency of the age you know but we christians in the west we've gone along with western uh, consumerist society so now we're more interested in being entertained for sure than we are with knowledge mm. we're more interested in in being um, made to laugh than we are being made to grow or, yeah, or to be made yeah, to no, challenge no, no, and, yeah. and until Christians get to grips with our history mm. until Christians get to grips with doing apologetics and doing polo polemics we're constantly going to be on the back foot yeah hundred percent and, and, and the number of Christians that come here Mm. and don't have the basic knowledge to defend their faith for sure whereas the, the average muslim here yeah. was probably will will lose an the, argument he'll against the Bible me or more you. than most christians well maybe not but he, mm. he he will he will he will he will maybe lose an argument against me or you 
but he's much better equipped to engage with us than the average Christian is to engage with the Hashims and the Mansours. Yeah, yeah, no, that's very, very true. You know, well, this is why my suggestion would be that maybe you, you might be in a better position or maybe you're too busy, but I, I, I've started to attempt to write down the series of questions that every Christian gets answered and to supply them with the scriptural references and the references from the early church fathers which give every every piece of riposte to them because in this well, I mean I, I don't engage in it much but there's a bit like a sword fence there's a lunge the thrust yeah, the yeah, yeah. most Christian if they have this basic information and reference points because they will be asked to give references yeah. and I think that would be a very valuable thing for the knowledgeable ones here who haven't got time to tell them all about it say, new to the park Christian here's a leaflet yeah. might help you the, the, the problem is Colin that the, the Christians in the park are too divided they're too divided they won't work together I didn't know that see since I've been coming here I've it's kind sad, of but it's I, true. I, I, I kind of stand I'm, when I say stand alone I'm a Catholic okay? yeah. I'm a Christian and I it's great to see a Catholic and working I, in the park well yeah yeah it's um, and, and I don't really I like to have one to one and I try for my, my part just to keep the, the tone right I'm, I'm interested in in the opportunity to pass information to that person whether they accept it or not is, yeah. is immaterial but I need to give you this information and if anyone is watching maybe that information like, and it's important to deliver it and get away without making myself look a complete ass and hateful yeah, person yeah, 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 yeah. And, and the rest of it yeah. so what I like to do I like to keep I don't know I, mean, I don't want to waffle too much but you know I haven't actually mixed really good so you're telling me that, that lots, I thought that most of the Christians were quite together I wish that were true I wish that were true but the reality is that the, the kind of the kind of coordination that needs to occur amongst the Christians that work in the park yeah. can't happen because the Christians in the park don't talk to one another. Okay. Okay. And, and that's really sad because we, we failed, a fa a fa the devil has won again in, in dividing the, sure. the Christians sure. through sectarian lines. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, but, but the reality is that that means that good ideas like yours, mm -hmm. and it is a good idea, yeah. won't get done. Unless you do it. I'll do it. Unless well, you do it. I start to do it. I've got the first one is part one based on all of those ones. The father was great and I the great. Father. But then there's a whole load of other ones that's from Aaron and Woman. There's all of these that I think it would take about the leaflet would be a double sized A5. And if I can get them printed and I'll just say Christian, even if they're in a debate, say, look, rather than me but but in here you are, there's a few references here that yeah. might help. Especially all the references pertaining yeah. to the deity of Christ. Instant reference points. Yeah. That's when you back up the church fathers who, yeah. who then ditto that. I, I, and also, can I just say, can I just I've say that, um, yes, so I thought I was talking to that other guy, yeah. Yeah. Is, is the fact that the gospel was being spread by word of mouth prior to the written word, and when you have the two together, you then can make sense of the scriptures. So when people say, well, who was Matthew? Who, say, Matthew was being preached before Matthew was written down. Yeah, 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 totally. And then, then the earliest church fathers, pre-Constantine, because yeah. it helps bring the Christian brotherhood yeah, totally. together. Yeah, totally. totally. And, 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 and this is the point. Like, it's an appeal that we've made many times, and it's an appeal that I'll make again. If you're a church leader, or someone in your congregation passes this video on to you, you need to make apologetics more central to how you disciple people in your fellowships because the reality is there are too many there are too many christians who are just wandering around clumsily and are not able to give an answer for the hope that they have but it's actually an apostolic instruction that a christian should have an answer for the hope that they have and, and be prepared to give an answer our spirituality and i find this true in lots of roman catholic churches they're very conflict averse very a lot of catholic fellowships are very conflict averse and that means that the catholic church is just losing people left right and center yeah. Because too many Roman Catholics are following a civic religion or a civic way of being Christian and, and, and don't have the stomach for a fight. They don't have the stomach to stand up to the Muslims or to stand up to the communists sure, or to, sure, you know, sure. they, they, they'll grumble or they'll yeah. talk quietly amongst yeah. themselves, yeah. but they shrink away you from know what, conflict. Bob, I suppose everyone who comes to the park, whether you're a Muslim or a Christian or whatever, they have their own personal charism the way that they feel that God or their personality leads them to convey whatever message they've got. And I, for my part, I've attempted to, and I haven't done it very well very often, is I'm more into apologetics. I would much rather 
meet with a Muslim. And I mean, like today I was saying, God, show me to the lions. Sometimes I avoid some of the Mansors and the Hashim. Sometimes. They're not lions, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, but what I'm saying is, put me in a place where I will have the opportunity I'm to sure give information. That's all I'm interested in. Not to win an argument, but to leave you and to leave your viewers with some points for them to ponder and yeah. do it in a polite and to do it in a respectful <laughs> manner. For me, that's the, the way that money. I kind of... I, 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 I would challenge you. I, 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 I would challenge you that what needs to change within the church yeah. is that we, that we as Christians, George, you, Colin, myself, we need to become more comfortable with conflict. Okay. We need to embrace the spirituality of the Templars, the Hospitallers, the Teutonic Orders. We need to embrace that, that willingness to enter into the cultural struggle For sure. with the desire to win, with the desire to come out of it triumphant. Yeah. Whereas lots of Catholics, in my experience, sure. Sure. and I love the Catholic Church, yeah. like I love the Orthodox Church, yeah. Yeah. lots of lots of Christians come into it with the idea that they just want to accommodate or they want to live alongside of or they want to get along with. Yeah, yeah. You, the you church what? doesn't win True. if it just wants to be one amongst many. I suppose many. for me, in my journey, I once would have been very, very... Uh, I won't go into my past, but we lived with the, men and, with the Amish Mennonites for a while where I saw how Christian Brotherhood perhaps in the early days would have worked. The Bruderhof. Not the Bruderhof, no, these would be Amish Mennonites. What, in the UK? No, in, in Ireland. They've got, they've got, okay, we lived with them for about four years. Not that we wanted to be um, Amish Mennonites, but I could see that they had preserved some, some of the things that we have lost in our society. Yeah, yeah, and it's so the notion of brotherhood yeah. and um, what's the word for it? Where you would have a, 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 another, another guy from, from the brotherhood who would be your accountability partner? Yep, you yep, know, people, all yep. of this thing that it was like lay monasticism that yeah, was yeah, being preserved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I thought this is the life I want to live as a Catholic, but I could accommodate it there. Which is so, a shame. Yeah. So when I come here, my, my attitude to the debate would be more that I would like to convince you of something that I believe to be true. That's the most important thing. How I do that, everybody can approach it in a variety of ways. But I found when I was with the Amish, I would have been very much of a gung-ho Catholic. I can't wait to unleash the church fathers on them. And when I lived with them, they weren't kind of interested in talking about it. Maybe they didn't have the ammo. Yeah. And then I thought, so, well, I started to talk to them in a, in a certain sort of way, but it intrigued me. The, the way that they were, they were very staunch in what they believed, but somehow they, they, how's the way, they're, the way they would win people over is through the relationship that they have with them. Yeah, but, but, but for me, I just finished it, Bob. So for me, my research convinces me over and over and over again that Christianity, as epitomized by the uh, one holy apostolic church, is the Christianity built on the foundation of Jesus Christ and the apostles. I'm convinced. Amen. I have the information here and the evidence that if I can give it to you, yeah. I need you to keep your ears open. But what, I would, say, what, I, what, yeah, I, what I would say to you, Colin, is that people are not just convinced by rational argument. People think at many different levels. Yeah. Some of it active and some of it passive. Sure. Lots of people, they, 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 it's a very rare man indeed that can be won over just by a rational argument. Because if every man could be won by a rational argument, we Christians would have converted the world by now. But the reason why we haven't converted the world by now is because rational argument is not sufficient. Is not sufficient. Yeah? Colin, it's all right, I'm going to do it wrong. Is not sufficient. The Christian community is, is not making the impact that it needs to make in our society because it isn't the issue. We Christians don't give off this vibe, this energy that says that we're a community that people want to belong to. And the reason for that is because we don't give off the vibe that we take our faith seriously. Bear in mind that back during the persecutions of Diocletian, Christians would die rather than just hand over their Bibles. Their scripture. They'd rather die. Most Christians, I just spoke to one yesterday and I used that example and she said, well, I could just go and buy a Bible from down from the shop. And I bet you there's lots of Christians who listen to this that would think the same. Until Christians take their faith seriously, no one else will. When Christ 
is mocked on Netflix and Christians still subscribe to Netflix and give them their money, they are saying that my faith is not worth dying for and that communicates that my faith is not worth living for, which communicates you can take or leave my faith. Your faith has got to be everything to you. And also, I suppose, because I know that you've got to, you've got to have a chat. I, in my journey, and everybody's journey is different, I feel it is important to, imperfectly being human, is to convey Christ to that person. And sometimes, in an eagerness to win a point, we can sometimes lose the Christ that needs to be presented. This is just the way that I'm trying to approach my time here in the past. So, as long as I am able to keep this person's ears open, as long as we're not insulting each other, and I can deliver the Christ message in a Christ-like way, I feel I've done my job. Did Jesus insult people? Very rare. Yes. There you go. So it isn't a case that it's either I. It's yeah, just, yeah. yeah. When you when you are driven to insult someone, it should be because you want to prick something within that person. Yeah. yeah? It's because you want to pop some bubble that they've got going off in their ego. Yeah. And 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 so so Christians should use insult very incisively. We should use it like a scalpel to try and cut something away or cut prudently. And prudently to cut through to something. To, to change the nature of the conversation. Yeah. Because Christ insulted people. He wasn't this white guy walking around in a dressing gown, you know this, you know this. He, he was someone who engaged with people at the ground level. Speaker's Corner is the alpha course for working class lads. They're never going to go into a church and have a working, uh, a middle class experience yeah. of sitting down over tea Speaking and then the next talking. Ring layer, I can totally agree with what you're right. Saying. So, but if the church wants to communicate to working class communities, then the church has got to toughen up, yeah. and we got to speak with some gravitas, and we got to have some presence about ourselves. And too many Christians are wimps, and they come across as wimps. And you may say all the right things, but if everyone looks at you and sees a damsel in distress, they're not going to be convinced by anything you have to say. I, I, I'm, I'm convinced that Christians are called to operate on a variety of different levels, in a variety of different ways, with a variety of different people, and a variety of different tools that God's given them. And for me, for my path, the way that I feel God wants me to approach my dialogue with Muslims would be, for me, I need to represent Christ, I need to give you information and call you to Jesus Christ. Yeah. But that isn't to yeah. contradict what you're doing as well. But yeah. Anyway, Bob, we'll talk anyway, more about we will, Read that little bit. Want, we need to get a, a, Yeah, yeah, a get him. Later. Colin, yeah. I, 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 I'd like to talk to you again. For sure. Me yeah. and you have a dialogue on yeah. camera. Okay. And, and the proposed topic of conversation yeah. is how, what are the necessary things for the right structuring of a diocese? Gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you understand a diocese. You can jump in on this if you want. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I can't, as an Orthodox yeah, Christian. Yeah, yeah, I can't. Because we understand yeah. the diocesan structure. We should talk about it because I think lots of our dioceses yeah. are, are badly led by bad bishops. In my journey, I ended up at Pius X, and they seem to have that one screwed. They, they yeah. know they, they, they are priests who actually give pastoral care to so, the flock. So, yeah, I wanna, we, we yeah, want to talk yeah. about that. Maybe, maybe the next time I'm here. Yeah. Sure. Anyway, Bob, God, yeah. bless God bless you. Peace yeah. be with you. Thank you. Peace be with you, George. Yeah.